see an army that is rising. Hallelujah. You may see them. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. You are king. You are awesome. Hallelujah. My name is Mohamed Azadeh. Hallelujah. opportunity, hallelujah, to minister before you, hallelujah, Amen. Um, nothing much, nothing more, nothing less, hallelujah, I'm just someone like you, hallelujah, don't be expecting something that is not great about, hallelujah, let us open our hearts and be willing to receive the word of God, hallelujah, hallelujah, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, are you happy? Neighbor, are you happy, neighbor? Hallelujah. Don't have a serious face, neighbor. Hallelujah. You see someone is like you. So, hallelujah. Relax, we are in the presence of God. We are going to hear the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, it's Hallelujah. Before I can go any further, I really made a mistake. Hallelujah. Um, I would like to take this opportunity to thank my principal. Hallelujah. Thank um, the chairperson. Hallelujah. The executive. Hallelujah. The council members to have this opportunity. Hallelujah. And lastly, to thank all of you. Hallelujah. Who are in this place. Hallelujah. To come and listen. Hallelujah. To God speaking. Hallelujah. Um, it's very much hard to come and preach the word of God after two wonderful weeks, hallelujah. Amen. We heard our brothers, they spoke, hallelujah. Amen. It's very much hard, but we're going to take from where they left off, hallelujah. Amen. And then we continue, hallelujah. Amen. Take my mouth, is the right <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, let us open our Bible because time is moving, guys. Time is not. Okay, let us open our Bible in John 18, verse, verse 15. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So Simon Peter followed Jesus as he did with another disciples that other disciples was appointed with the high priest so that he was so he followed he was followed to enter the high priest's courtyard with Jesus. Verse 16 it says Peter had to stay outside the gate. Then the, the disciples who knew the high priest spoke to the woman watching at the gate. She let Peter in. The woman asked, You are not you are not one of the men's disciples, are you? Hallelujah. Yes. So when it continues, it says, when Peter replies, he says, No, I am not. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us read Matthew 16, verse 16. Hallelujah. Let us start it from verse 15. Hallelujah. Then he asked them, But who do you say I am? Simon Peter answered, You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. Amen. Jesus replied that you are blessed, Simon, son of John, because my Father in heaven has revealed this to you. You did not learn this from any human being. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I will draw my message from these two scriptures that we have just read. Hallelujah. Remember that the theme of our festival, hallelujah. Keep on flowing, don't Don't take it down. Hallelujah. The theme of the festival says, Where are you from? Hallelujah. Where are you from? There are no things that we can take up from this thing when we say, Where are you from? Hallelujah. But in John 18, we see Peter, Hallelujah, denying Jesus. Hallelujah. They ask him, I am not one of these men's 
six like with six? No, no, I'm not. Hallelujah. But when we take a step back and we look at in, in, in Matthew 16, hallelujah. Amen. That's when Simon Peter was saying that you are the Messiah. <laughs> hallelujah. Amen. So now, this then now draws my, my topic for tonight. Hallelujah. From this team. From this team. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So the topic of my message tonight is Eden of my position. Yeah. Hallelujah. Eden of my position. Hallelujah. I T E M of my position. Hallelujah. <laughs> so let me just explain that for a moment. So when we look at the word Eden, hallelujah, yeah. it's a Latin word. Hallelujah. So we are talking about the identity of my position. Hallelujah. The identity of your position. Hallelujah. So that's the topic of tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So now, when we look in, 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 in John, in John 18, hallelujah, this man is denying Jesus. He says, I don't know this man. Hallelujah. But this man has spent a lot of time with Jesus. Hallelujah. So now what I'm trying to draw is that when we are in different positions in our lives, hallelujah, we tend to discover new identities. Hallelujah. There are some people who tend to adapt to the positions that they are in. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because when we look at in Matthew 16, hallelujah, this man knew very well who this man was. Hallelujah. But now in John 18, he says, I don't know this man. Hey. Hallelujah. Yeah. He says, I don't know this man. I don't know who you are. Yeah. Hallelujah. So your position matters. Hallelujah. Where have you placed yourself? Yeah. Hallelujah. If they ask you, who is this man? What are you going to say? At this position that you find yourself in today? Yeah. Hallelujah. According to the identity that you find yourself in that position. We are in this institution, we are coming from different backgrounds. Hallelujah. Amen. But what is your identity at this certain position? Hallelujah. We know that we are coming from a, a, a certain identity. Hallelujah. We are coming from one identity where we are the same. Hallelujah. But things tend to change when we move. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It tends to change. When we start moving, when we start interacting, when we start adapting, hallelujah. When we start to adapt to what the world can give us, our identity starts to change. Hallelujah. Amen. But does it really, does it necessarily have to change because of our position? Hallelujah. Amen. What is your position with Jesus when you're in your room? What is your position with Jesus when you're at school? What is that identity? Hallelujah. The way that you describe yourself, you find that you change. You are no longer the same when you are in a certain position. Hallelujah. This man says, I don't know you. Hallelujah. I can imagine someone telling me that, that. You know, my brother, I don't know you. I don't know who you are. Hallelujah. I've never met you. But knowing clearly that we are coming from way back, like, you know. We spend a lot of time together, but you just refuse and deny that I don't know who you are. Yeah. That hurts. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm. My God. Yeah. <laughs> so when we look at the book of Genesis, Hallelujah. Amen. We find a man and a woman in the Garden of Eden. Hallelujah. Where God has placed them in the Garden of Eden. Hallelujah. They are in this position, a suitable position that God has placed them. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But there are certain things that, that are happening when they are in that certain position that God has placed them. Hallelujah. There are certain situations that you are going to come across. In the place that God has placed you. 
Hallelujah. But it depends on how you deal with them. Hallelujah. They were given certain instructions in the spot that God has placed them that do not eat that tree. You can do whatever you want, but do not eat that tree. Hallelujah. When we are in our lives, we tend to come across temptations that are there. Hallelujah. In that position that you are, there will be temptations, but how do you handle it? Hallelujah. If you read that, I'm not going to read because time will be short. Hallelujah. Yeah. But if you read clearly, it says that they eat, they ate that tree. Hallelujah. And soon they realize that they are naked in the spot that God has placed them. Hallelujah. Now they have adapted to some sort of situation. They have adapted to some sort of the position that they were at. Hallelujah. They ate what they were not supposed to eat. So they adapted. Hallelujah. To that tree that they ate. Hallelujah. But now we tell us with your identity as a person. Because at that stage, if I ask you, who is God at that stage? You don't know who is God. Hallelujah. You don't know who he is. Because you have tempered with your position. The position that you find yourself in. Hallelujah. When we read Genesis 3 verse 9. Hallelujah. We find God asking that where are you? Hallelujah. Where are you? Now remember that God has placed them in the garden. Hallelujah. But now he is asking that where are you? So this means that they are no longer in the position that God has placed them. He is looking them in another in, in the position that he has placed them, but you cannot find them. Where are you? I need you in the place that I have placed you. I need you in the place, in the position that I have placed you. Yes. Hallelujah. I need you in the position that I have given you. I need you in that position. Because you have that that identity that I want. Hallelujah. But God did, did no longer know them. Hallelujah. He no longer knew them. Because they tempered with their position. Hallelujah. He, they tell me their position. God is asking, where are you? Hallelujah. This same question he goes to us also. Where are you? There is a certain position, a certain place that God has placed you in your life. Hallelujah. Some of you were given gifts in the kingdom of God. As a king of citizenship. Hallelujah. You have got a certain gift in this kingdom. Hallelujah. But today when we look at you, when we look at in the position, when we look at in that position, but where are you? With that same gift that God has given you. Hallelujah. I also asking myself the same question. Hallelujah. Let us continue. I want us to look at four things. Hallelujah. Four things that can temper with the position that we are in. Hallelujah. Yeah. So, I didn't know what to call them. Hallelujah. You know, it's, it's confusing sometimes <laughs> when you are preparing the way. You just say things and then you just share. You just see you wait to patch them. Hallelujah. Yeah. The way it fits, you just, you know, yeah. like, oh, okay. Yeah, that's that, that other one, you know, just, yeah. Yeah. hallelujah. Okay, so the first one that I want to talk about is character. Hallelujah. So that's the third thing that I want to talk about. Now, under this, this subtopic, hallelujah, which is the character, I want to look at this young man, Joseph. Hallelujah. So when we read in Genesis 37, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 24, if we can go there. Genesis 
against us. Hallelujah. Though you are a slave, though, though, though you are in another position, but when you have God on your side, no one can be against you. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter. We know that as people, as human beings, we tend to move from position to position. But what matters is that we retain the identity that we have. Hallelujah. Let us retain the identity that we have. It says, as in water, face reflects face. So the heart of a man reflects a man. Hallelujah. The heart of a man reflects a man. Hallelujah. The person that we see right now, hallelujah, it is the reflection of what is in the heart of the man. Hallelujah. It is the reflection of the identity that you will have. Hallelujah. As in what a face reflects face, so the heart of a man reflects the man. Hallelujah. We see the true reflection of what is in your heart. What is dwelling in your heart, we see that reflection. Hallelujah. So, the character matters. Hallelujah. So it means that now we need to take care of our character. How we present ourselves. Hallelujah. Because when we look at, when we look at Peter, He rejected Jesus. Hallelujah. It's because he didn't have a certain identity, a certain character. Hallelujah. It keeps on changing when you are here, you're something else. When you are here, you're something else. Hallelujah. God is just an anchor here. You keep on changing roles. Hallelujah. Sometimes you're the main player, sometimes you're just, you're just an extra G. You are just a Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. Now when we look at Genesis. My God. Alright. When we look at Genesis 39, verse 2 to 3. Hallelujah. That's, that's the scripture where he was, Joseph was in Potiphar's house. It says that the Lord was with Joseph. So he succeeded in everything that he, that he did. As he, he served in the home of an Egyptian master. Now verse 3, when we continue, it says, Potiphar noticed this and realized that the Lord was with Joseph. Giving him success in everything that he did. Hallelujah. When you've got God in your life, nothing can ever, can ever go wrong. It can seem tough, but nothing can ever go wrong with God. Hallelujah. Let us pass that and look at um, the second sub sub topic. Hallelujah. You'll find the topic there. You just hold them. Hallelujah. So the other one that I want to look at is communication. Hallelujah. Amen. When we are in our positions, it matters of how we communicate. Yes. We communicate with the people that are surrounding us. So it matters. Hallelujah. Looking at Proverbs 21 verse 23, it says, Shut your mouth and you will be out of trouble. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. So if you don't know anything to, to, to speak about, yes. if you don't know what to say, yes. just shut your mouth yes. and remain calm in your position. Yes. Hallelujah. Because the communication, it matters. It matters on how you communicate because you can say some of the things that are wrong and you end up being out of the presence of God. You you end up retaining, you end up acquiring a certain identity. Hallelujah. So if you don't know what to say in the position that you are at, hallelujah. Just shut up. Just shut up. Be quiet. 
Hallelujah. Just keep praying. Hallelujah. We know that in some of the situations you find that you say that I am blessed. I feel like I can say something. Yeah. You find someone that is maybe insulting you and you are blessed and oh hallelujah. Yeah. Just shut up because if you don't have something better to, 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 to neutralize the, the situations, you end up saying things that are out of order. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Let's, let's learn to communicate. Hallelujah. Let us learn to have, to have our own space. Hallelujah. Even if things are happening all day, learn to have your own space. Learn to ignore some of the things that are happening around you. You just pretend like you don't see them. And just be in constant communion with the time. Hallelujah. Be in that relationship with God. Hallelujah. They are busy saying that when they are busy in constant communion with the Lord, with God, and they are saying, God, you know, if that cause is showing me, but you know, give me some advice. How can I, you know, how can I tackle this? You know, you're busy in, in that relationship with God. Hallelujah. You're speaking about your life, you're glorifying who He is. In that space, communication. Hallelujah. Communication matters. So now, when we are still in communication, it says, we must mind of our tongue because upon our tongue lies the power of life and death. Things that we speak, hallelujah, can determine what will happen in our life. That's why the, 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 the previous scripture that I read said, you, you must learn to, to just keep quiet. Hallelujah. Just let you keep quiet and let God, God's will go on. Hallelujah. Let's just let you relax, you know. Relax. <laughs> and have no problem. God is in control. You just have to relax. Hallelujah. Amen. So I'm not going to say much under this topic because I have a lot of guys and time is moving. You yeah. forgive me. But yeah. Okay, the third thing that I want to talk about yeah. is condition. Hallelujah. Yeah. You know, as children of God, we find ourselves in this place. We find ourselves in this place called earth. There are different conditions that we are going to come across. Hallelujah. For an example, if we look at the season of temperature, if we look at temperature, hallelujah, there is a time where you find that it's very much cold. Hallelujah. There is a time that you will find that it is very much, it's mild, you know, it's, it's dead. Hallelujah. There is a time that you will find that it's very hot. Like it's really hot. Yes. Yeah, like like hot. <laughs> like the Bobo people really like you know, hot. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. But then what I'm trying to say in this in this point that we have, which is condition, is that as a Christian, when you are in a certain position that you are, hallelujah, you will experience different conditions in your life. Hallelujah. There will be conditions. Hallelujah. When it's cold, you know when it's cold, you need to change and have suitable clothes for that condition. So that you still feel you feel normal. Hallelujah. When it's summer, when it's hot, you need to have those clothes and then you still feel like, yeah, no, this is still me. Hallelujah. So as a child of God, it also applies to us that there, you, we are going to reach certain conditions that are very much different in your life. So it matters on how you handle them. Hallelujah. Luke 10, when we look at Luke 10, we find Jesus and his disciples. Hallelujah. He was sending his disciples out there. 
Hallelujah. He was sending the disciples to the people. He said, Go out there and be lambs. Hallelujah. I am sending you out there as lambs to the wolves. Hallelujah. So they are conditioned, they were given a certain condition that you need to be a lamb. You will find wolves out there, but remain as a lamb. Now, when we look at the lamb, it's, it's a kind of animal that is very much hungry. It's not much aggressive. Hallelujah. I am sending you out there to be humble. That was the message that he was giving out to them. That go out there and be humble. Hallelujah. When you share the gospel, Hallelujah. Go out there and become humble. Hallelujah. It says when you continue with the scripture, they came back with the smiles on their face. Hallelujah. They said, Master, even the devils, they bowed down to us. Hallelujah. They said, even the devils, they bowed down to us. Hallelujah. So now, when you are out there as a lamb, you humble yourself. Hallelujah. God will lift up something in you. Hallelujah. There is no devil, no demon that can stand before you. Hallelujah. Go out there and be the lens. Hallelujah. The second thing under this condition that I want to talk about is that sometimes you will reach a condition where you need to let the lion that is in you to manifest. When you reach certain conditions in your life, you need to let the lion of Judah that is within you to manifest. Hallelujah. You don't need to relax in the position that you are at. And you're like, ah, no, hold a look. It will be okay, you know. You need to release it. Release him. Hallelujah. You cannot be in a situation and still be relaxed. Some of the situation, they need the lion himself. Hallelujah. Now when we look at the lion, we know that it is for that aggressive. Hallelujah. When it is for that aggressive character. Hallelujah. So some of the conditions that you are going to come across, they need you to be aggressive. You cannot be talking to a demon and say, in the name of Jesus, get out. You know? <laughs> Sometimes you need to. Yeah. Yeah. You need to tell it that in the name of Jesus, I am telling the right now, yes. go out. Yeah. You know, you need to give it that thing. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You might move to another position, but you 
must always remember that you need to retain the identity that you have yeah. when you are moving to different positions. Hallelujah. But then now you will encounter what is called confrontation. Hallelujah. Yeah. Then now it's one-on-one -on -one communication now. It's one-on-one -on -one to say, like, really, bro, like, is this really you? Are you really saying that you are this person that we see? Right? Are you sure that you are this young woman that we see? Hallelujah. You will reach that confrontation to say, is this really who you say you are? Hallelujah. Are you the kingdom citizen? Are you really the kingdom citizen? Hallelujah. So this we can look at Daniel 3. Where we see Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Hallelujah. It says they were in a position. Hallelujah. They were in a certain land. Now, in this place, my God, we had King Nebuchadnezzar. Hallelujah. He gave orders that people that are in this place need to worship this statue that is here. The statue that was built. Hallelujah. But then we find these three young men. Hallelujah. Saying that we cannot worship any other God because we know who our God is. Hallelujah. So the point that I'm trying to bring out from here is that when you are within those positions, you are going to encounter a confrontation that are you really are the child of God. Hallelujah. Are you really the person who is worshipping this God? Hallelujah. Are you really the person who is worshipping this God? Then yourself you can answer. But this three young men, they said we cannot worship any other God. Yes. For we know our God. Hallelujah. Even when they were confronted, they still knew their identity. You know, some of the people, if if you get confronted, even myself, they get tempted, you know. Yes. Yo, yeah. you, you become confronted in another situation, you tend to say. You know, no. Yeah. It's not me, you know, but it's just someone else. Hallelujah. You get confused sometimes. But we must always remember and know who we are. Hallelujah. Because there will be a confrontation. Hallelujah. Yeah. It can be after the service, can be a week after, it can be every day in your life. It's Hallelujah. Every hour when they are just in here. Hallelujah. You are just relaxed in your room. Someone just walked up your day. Hallelujah. You have that confrontation. Know your identity in the position that you are in. There are different positions that we will find ourselves in. But know your identity. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. But if we look at Luke 15, hallelujah. Yeah. Um, I think this is where we'll end. This is where the scripture I'll end here. We find the parable of the lost son. Hallelujah. Now this young man tells his father that I want part of my estate. I want part of my wealth. Right. Hallelujah. So the father said, no, it's okay. I will give it to you. Hallelujah. Immediately when he was given the part of the estate, hallelujah, he moved away. He packed his things, moved away from the house. He moved from the position that he was at. Getting each and everything. Hallelujah. 
He was shaking each and everything, you know. You have been spoiled during your day, you know. When you are with your father, you know. Our God is good. Hallelujah. He will spoil you. Hallelujah. He will spoil you in that position that you are in. But this young man said, no, it's fine. I want to start my own things. I think I'm ready enough, you know. So you can start my own thing. Hallelujah. So he left. When he left, the famine that was in the in the land hit him also. It doesn't matter how much you have. It doesn't matter how much you owe. But there will always be a famine. Hallelujah. There are certain challenges that he came across. There are certain challenges that he faced in his life. Hallelujah. So you are from your father. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> when we just read this paper, you know it's but it's fine. Hallelujah. <laughs> so when he was in that land, the famine reached him. And he was left with nothing, you know. I don't know what he could have done with the estate. Maybe you know when you're still young, he you said, I want money. Maybe they give me shares. He like, let me sit there. Someone comes and uh, I'll give you a video, you know, like I'll uh, go for it. The video, I didn't see the video. But you tend to forget that with time, that money will get finished and you, you no longer have a backup yeah. on how, what to live with. Hallelujah. So his position was tempered with. So he lost his position. He lost his identity. He was no longer defined as that young man from that household. But now you acquire a certain identity that you have acquired in the land. Hallelujah. There was somebody who even adapted to say, maybe this is who I am. Hallelujah. Now when we look at Luke 15, verse 12, we see this young man saying that enough is enough. I need to return to my father. I need to return to the Eden of my origin. I need to return to the Eden of my origin. Hallelujah. You may be having a certain Eden in a certain position that does not define who you are. You need to go back to the Eden of your position in the household of your father. Hallelujah. Where you get each and everything that you want in the house of your father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you still there? Hallelujah. So we need to return to the Eden of our origin. It doesn't matter what you have encountered in life. You know, sometimes you see yourself maybe not encountering a situation. You think like things are well out there. Hallelujah. There are some people who go through a lot. You find that I'm going through a lot. You don't even know. You just see this strong young man smiling, but you don't know what I'm going through. There are a lot of things that we go through as children of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us stand up on our feet. Be 
because there is no favor in the Eden of your origin. Yeah. You might seem to have adapted to the favor that is around you, but in the Eden of your origin, there is no favor. The favor is in the land. Hallelujah. The favor is in the land. Hallelujah. Let us close our eyes.